Alrighty guys, first thing we need to do is go ahead and open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. And this is going to be a single view application with the product name of Table. The language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Now create and replace if you had an existing project. All right, now go to the main dot storyboard, and now we're just going to delete this view controller that we have and add a table view controller. Or in a case that you have an existing project, just go ahead and add a table view controller onto your scene. And now click on this table view controller, and we're going to go to our attributes inspector, and we're going to say is initial view controller. Now go back over here and actually go to your view controller dot swift, and now we're going to change the class to be a table view controller. So just go ahead and change the name to table view controller of the super class of a UI table view controller. All right, now let's create an array. So say bar array equals open bracket, close bracket. And inside of this array, we're going to have some strings. And then right after that, say open parentheses, close parentheses. All right, and it looks like I spelled controller wrong. There, that should fix all the errors. All right, now go down here and in our view did load to say array equals open bracket, close bracket, open, open quotation mark, close quotation mark, comma, open quotation mark, close quotation mark, and we're just gonna say first, second, and now go down here and just say table view, number of rows and section, and we're gonna return the number of rows and uh, number of things that are inside of this array right here. So say return array dot count. So it's counting the amount of objects that are inside of this array. All right, now go down here, and now we actually wanna create our cells. So say table view, cell for row at index path, and right down here, we're going to add, a, add our cell. So just say a var cell equals self dot table view dot deck reusable cell with identifier and identifier string for index path. All right, the identifier for string will just be open quotation mark, close quotation mark, cell. And this is going to be according to whatever you name in your main.storyboard. I'll explain that in just a minute. For index path, and that's going to be index path, which is explained right up here uh, where it is created inside of this function, index path. All right, now go ahead and go down here. And actually, we want to say as UI table view cell right after that. So it's creating a cell as a UI table view cell. All right, now let's return this value. So it actually pun uh, punches in everything that's in between. So just say return cell. So now anything in between this variable and this return will be punched into our cell that it's a, that's displayed on our table view. So now to say cell dot text label dot text, and it should actually add a question mark. So question mark dot text equals array open bracket, close bracket, and say index path dot row, like so. All right, and now let's go back to our main dot storyboard and click on our table view controller that we have over here and go to your identity inspector and go to your class and we're just gonna change this to table view controller or whatever you named it inside of this view controller right here. Now go back to your main dot storyboard and click on your cell and this time just go and click on the uh, the attributes inspector and we're going to change the reuse identifier right here to cell and this is according to whatever you put inside of these parentheses right inside of this cell pattern right there all right now let's go ahead and build and run and it should build properly into a working thing all right so now we have first and second and you can always add more to your table view by just simply going to your array and then saying comma and adding a new object such as third so now this will automatically be counted down here and then added as a cell. So let's build and run and I'll show you what happens. Now, as you can see, we have first, second, and third. So keep adding to that array if you want more objects inside of your table view. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and share it. Limited programming to me is just a fast and easy way to get things done. It might not be a 40 minute tutorial that goes as in depth as a 40 minute tutorial, but it is a four minute tutorial at least on how to get things done quick and fast. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.